Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Miji Static from Static Records. So today, guys, I want to be showing you the settings, the best settings that I use inside FL Studio for the best performance. And I'm also going to show you some export settings. So if you're interested in that, just hold on and then check this out. And if it's your first time here, guys, kindly subscribe to the channel. So you just click the options button right there and then you can click either one of these but we're gonna go to the audio settings so once you're here personally i use the 48 kilohertz for my sample rate and initially when you when you open fl studio before you set it it should come on 44 0.1 kilohertz but personally i prefer 48 i've tried out the other sample rates it's quite tasky on your on your pc but i really don't feel the difference so much so i stick to 48 from 41 to 48 you can and from 44 to 48 you can definitely feel the the difference so yeah take 48 or 41 whichever you're vibing with and then for the device right here I think when you open FL Studio it initially starts on this primary sound driver or the the ASIO V2 so I pretty much tried all of these currently I'm using the UMC the Euphoria 204 as my audio interface by Behringer and yeah as you guys can see actually right here and these are the the drivers for the for the UMC so you can depending on which interface you're using you can probably use those you can and personally I use this the FL Studio ASIO to me, for my PC, this, this gives me the best performance on the on my laptop. And then from there, you can change the, the buffer by clicking that. Mine goes all the way to 2000 over there. So if you're making a beat and let's say, for example, you have a, a MIDI controller connected you probably want to use a lower sample rate probably like 512 or even 256 or this one right here 384 so that there is no lag or delay when you're pressing your your midi and when you're listening to your beat it can kind of be annoying if you're not hearing the sound immediately and also if you're recording vocals i would say 512 is a good spot there depending on the power of your of your pc but personally i just use 512 and now when you start mixing your vocals or you're mixing a beat or a song in general you can increase it all the way up to 2048 put the priority to the highest and if your pc is still acting up you can click this triple buffer right that would definitely help out your, your PC. So since I'm recording right now from another spot, I'm using this, but I could have gone through the different ones so you guys can hear the difference. And yeah. And then there is sampling quality over here. When you're making your beat or whatever, you can probably have it like down all the way to six points right but if you're exporting your project i would say take it all the way up to 512 you're going to get the best quality from there and also if you're mixing your your project having it all the way up there i think will help you get to make the best decisions when you're when you're mixing but if your pc can't handle it 
just drag it down to a spot where you're comfortable and the PC is not lagging and you'll be good to go. That's pretty much everything covered on this side. And let's go to general. Yeah, okay. There's nothing pretty much here, but yeah, you get the gist. That will definitely help out your your PC to perform better. If if all those tips don't help out, I would suggest probably either use less plugins or maybe try closing some softwares in the background so you can shut off maybe you have an internet browser open you can close that even if it's just browsing folders you can close those as well and see if that helps so that it's just fl studio running and if that doesn't help then i would suggest probably invest in a better machine so that you know you can have a good time and not think about that when you're working on your projects now when it comes to, to exporting the project and let's give it a name test and then this is the menu that you get okay so personally when i'm exporting WAV files that I'm going to use for like a loop or pretty much something I'm going to bring back in the project. I just use 32 bit floats. It has better quality. Or you can just use the 24 bit. And then in the resampling, you select the 512 point. That's if you're trying to get the best quality. Okay. And for the mp3, you use this right here. You set it to the max if you're trying to get the best quality. But if you're just trying to export something quickly just to show someone, you can bring it down a little bit. But for better quality, 320 kbps is the best. And also make sure that that is on 512 and this one right here is on the HQ for all plugins and yeah pretty much after that you can just click the start button and it will export it so yeah guys if that has helped you out definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel I drop content four times a week so we definitely hit that notification bell to get notified every time I make an upload. And if you're trying to get a hold of me, you can send me a DM on Instagram or you can send me a message on my number or on my email. That works as well. So yeah, guys, till next time.